For nearly a century, humanity has clung to a singular narrative to decode the vast expanse of the cosmos. A narrative so compelling, it has shaped the minds of entire generations, redefined our understanding of reality, and stood unchallenged at the heart of modern science. It's the standard model of cosmology, the Lambda CDM framework, our trusted blueprint for everything from the Big Bang to the present day. But what if that blueprint is fundamentally flawed? What if the universe we believe we inhabit is not the one revealed by our most powerful instrument yet? Because right now, a telescope floating a million miles from Earth has uncovered evidence so profound, it threatens to shatter the very foundations of what we thought was true. Not minor inconsistencies, but revelations that point to an entirely different cosmic reality. This telescope is the James Webb Space Telescope, and its deepest gazes suggest we may be looking into another universe altogether. Webb does more than observe distant light. It captures echoes from the dawn of time itself. Each glimmer it detects has traveled across billions of years, originating in an era when our own world was unimaginable, when stars had yet to ignite in any meaningful way, when Webb turned its gaze toward the farthest reaches, regions so remote they should display the universe in its raw, embryonic state, it revealed something impossible. Rather than faint, scattered fragments struggling to coalesce, Webb uncovered vast, luminous structures already thriving in brilliance. These objects are not mere fledglings. They are immense, radiant, and astonishingly mature, defying every expectation of how quickly complexity can emerge in a young cosmos. For the first time, we have pierced into the epoch immediately following the cosmic dark ages, that mysterious phase after the Big Bang, when light itself was suppressed, and no significant structures should have formed. Yet instead of an expected void, Webb illuminates a landscape teeming with activity. Enormous glowing entities dominate the scene, fully developed in a universe barely hundreds of millions of years old. These are not anomalies dismissed as artifacts. Multiple independent observations confirm their existence, and even the most esteemed minds in physics are confronting an unsettling truth. The distant cosmos may operate under rules profoundly different from our own. Or perhaps these signals originate from a realm beyond the boundaries we have long assumed define our reality. To grasp the magnitude of this challenge, we must examine the core of the standard model. Lambda CDM posits that the universe is governed by cold dark matter and a dominant dark energy component, dictating the slow, methodical assembly of galaxies from tiny fluctuations. In this picture, early structures emerge gradually, accreting material over vast timescales, with insufficient opportunity for massive systems to arise so soon after the initial expansion. But Webb's findings shatter this timeline. The observed objects possess masses and luminosities that demand far more rapid growth than physics permits, as if the laws governing formation were accelerated or entirely altered in those primordial depths. So what precisely is Webb encountering in these forbidden zones? To comprehend, we must reconsider the very fabric of cosmic evolution. The discovery of universal expansion traces back nearly a century, when observations revealed that distant galaxies recede from us in all directions, with velocity proportional to distance. This implies space itself is stretching, an effect without a central point. Every vantage appears as the hub of recession. And crucially, this expansion is not constant but accelerating, driven by an enigmatic force we call dark energy. At extreme distances, recession speeds approach and exceed the speed of light, defining a horizon beyond which direct influence is impossible. Yet light emitted long ago can still reach us, stretched across the expanding void. This defines our observable universe, a sphere roughly 93 billion light-years in diameter. 
bounded by the faint glow of the cosmic microwave background. The relic radiation from when the cosmos was a mere infant, dense and hot. Beyond this edge lies the unobservable, regions eternally severed from our view. The standard model holds that the Big Bang unfolded everywhere simultaneously, filling an infinite expanse with uniform matter, its afterglow visible in every direction as that pervasive microwave hum. But Webb's revelations are compelling a radical reassessment, where models predicted a tentative, dim awakening of the first stars and galaxies Webb finds overwhelming radiance. Vast systems blaze forth in an era that should remain shrouded in relative obscurity. Recent surveys have identified hundreds of candidates existing mere hundreds of millions of years post-Big Bang, many exhibiting properties, high densities, efficient star formation, even heavy elements like oxygen, that imply advanced chemical evolution far too premature. In typical galaxies, star formation consumes only a fraction of available gas, leaving reservoirs for ongoing growth. Yet some of these ancient beacons show near total conversion, exhausting their fuel in explosive bursts, producing metals and structures that echo mature systems billions of years older. Black holes, too, appear improbably massive, growing at rates that strain known accretion limits, hidden within hosts that mimic quiet galaxies yet harbor monstrous activity when viewed in infrared. And then there are the shapes, elongated, filamentary forms challenging simulations of dark matter halos, turbulent gases resisting orderly rotation, chaotic environments where calm disks should not yet prevail. These are not isolated oddities. They form a population far denser and brighter than forecasts suggesting either dramatically enhanced efficiency in early star birth or a fundamental mismatch in our cosmic chronology. The implications cascade profoundly. If these are indeed galaxies within our universe, the standard timeline collapses, demanding revisions to gravity, dark matter behavior, or expansion history itself. Persistent discrepancies in measuring that expansion, the so-called Hubble tension, gain new urgency, as varying rates inferred from early and late universe probes hint at evolving physics or unseen influences. Yet a more breathtaking possibility emerges from the data's extremes. The most distant confirmed galaxy, observed when the cosmos was less than 300 million years old, shines with unexpected vigor, its light carrying signatures that defy seamless integration into our framework. Some interpretations suggest these signals could trace boundaries or interactions with parallel realities, regions governed by distinct constants or histories. Physicists once dismissed such notions as speculative extravagance. Yet the accumulating anomalies compel serious consideration. Ideas of cyclic cosmologies, preceding phases, or multiversal landscapes, where our bubble is but one among infinite variants, gain traction. Early dark energy, a transient force accelerating initial growth, offers partial relief, boosting structure formation while addressing expansion mismatches. But deeper inconsistencies persist, whispering of realities where time, matter and causality unfold differently. Independent conformations mount, supermassive black holes feasting in diminutive hosts, supernovae erupting in eras of supposed quiescence. Galaxies masquerading as ordinary, yet revealing voracious cores. These are not errors. They are consistent across datasets, forcing confrontation with a cosmos richer and more alien than envisioned. What if the light web captures is not solely from our past, but glimpses through veils separating domains? What if the early universe it reveals is a projection from another, overlapping or antecedent realm. Such thoughts, once confined to theoretical margins, now resonate amid the evidence. The universe may not be singular, but embedded in a grander tapestry, its apparent youth masking eternal cycles or parallel evolutions. Right now interpretations diverge, 
but the data speaks unequivocally. Our model is strained to breaking. As Webb delves further, cataloging ever more distant beacons, refining spectra and morphologies, the picture sharpens. These objects are not breaking the universe. They are unveiling its true vastness, a realm where beginnings blur and boundaries dissolve. The cosmos has always humbled us, revealing layers of mystery beneath apparent order. Webb's gaze pierces deeper than ever, not to confirm complacency, but to ignite wonder. What secrets lie at the true horizon? What realities await beyond our observable veil? The universe is not merely expanding. It is inviting us to expand our imagination, to embrace the profound possibility that we inhabit one thread in an infinite weave. And as these revelations unfold, one truth crystallizes with awe-inspiring clarity. The story of the cosmos is far from complete. It is alive, dynamic, and infinitely more extraordinary than we dared dream. If this journey into the unknown stirs something deep within you, the same curiosity that drives discovery, then join in exploring it further. Reflect on these vast implications. Share this perspective with others and ponder the endless possibilities that await. The universe is calling. What will your response be?